So most filmmakers, most media creatives have no idea what goes into a speaker. They look at, they see a two-way speaker and they're like, there's that, there's that, and it's in a box, sounds good, and it, if I'm, it's affordable, I'll buy it, whatever. I, I want to just take a moment to go around some of the things that we don't know what those things really are. So the first thing is the hole in the box. Mm. You know what I'm talking about. The hole yep. in the box. Why is there always, or most of the time, a hole in the box? Why is it important? What does it do? Go so. So the port in the box gives us a couple advantages. Um, it extends the low frequency of the of the box, so we can get more excursion out of that driver before it before it runs out, and it's more it's a more efficient system that way. Um, it gives us a couple other advantages also in cooling the system. Most people don't don't realize that we're actually using that to to cool off the system, and that for packaging reasons, we can also make the box smaller to get the, the same amount of output. So all of those are engineering trade-offs that we make at the beginning of a project to decide whether it's ported or sealed. So we, back in the 80s, we thought we were super smart when we took a speaker that had a port and put a big sock in it. We thought, oh, we can get more transient response. It'll be snappier. Is that, just, were we just nuts? <laughs> uh, so technically you're, you're right, but you're you're pulling low frequency out of the uh, out of the output. So yes, it tightens up, but you're also losing the the, the low frequency because it won't it won't so, move as so, far. So it's and and intuitively anybody that's that's mixing audio low frequencies they 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 have that character to them. So if you if you move a high pass filter up, it tightens up the the sound of a bass drum, for example. So when the woofer moves back and forth, it radiates energy actually both ways in front and in the rear. In sealed box speakers, the rear radiation just killed, right? It's absorbed. And if we have a hole, as you said, which is a port, right? Port has a moving mass. It's a mass of air. Then we have a volume of the box, which is the spring. So what we do, uh, applying the port, we use the energy selectively, frequency-wise, selectively, and we tune the volume of the uh, box and the mass of the port in such a way so we have a reverse radiation and we boost the low frequencies. So there's a so, lot of engineering that goes into just a hole. I mean, you is it sort of like you're building the speaker around that hole? Well, it's built together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But because, that's not just a simple hole to let air no, no, out no. and cool. It's like, no, no, wow, no, no, you no, have no. to tune it no, resonantly. No, no. Yeah, yeah. And, there's, and there's many other refinements to that of port flare, in, in the box, how long the port is, what the diameter of the port is, that are all part of the engineering decisions that get made to optimize it for that box volume in that application. So 305s, 306s, 308s have the port in the back. Series 7, 708s, et cetera, have it in the front. What's the difference? For 3 Series, the, the application for 3 Series was primarily as a desktop monitor mm. or perhaps a console monitor where it's not directly up against the boundary. Where for 7 Series, where we specifically had trucks in mind, you have to shove those things into the corners, so we needed to put the, front, the port on the front. Even if you're